Let's add an effect when we wear our full suit of armor. Let's see how to do that. Alright, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to see how you can add a full armor effect to your mod. The idea here is that when you have the entire full suit of armor on, then you get an effect applied to your player. And the way that we can do this is basically fairly straightforward. We're going to need a custom armor item class for this, which I'm going to copy over. Code for you is linked in the description below, GitHub repository or in an individual gist as well. And we're going to go through this. So inside of our custom package in the item package, right click Java class, and we're going to call this the mod armor item. And this will extend the armor item right here. And then I will actually copy over the entirety of its contents. And I will then explain what is going on here. So the first thing that you will realize is we also have a map. This is very similar to how we've done the blowtorch in the advanced item tutorial, where we also had a map that mapped a particular block to a particular item. And in this case, we have a maps a armor material to a particular mob effect. If I have the titanium on, then what it's going to do is it's going to apply the luck effect or the luck status effect to me. There's a few things, mainly the inventory tick method right here is the thing that is basically happening all the time. So every time I have one of those mod armor items inside of my inventory, this is going to fire. And as you can see, this only fires on the actual server. And then it's going to say, okay, is the entity who has this in its inventory a player? If that is the case, then we're going to cast it to the player. And then we're going to ask, hey, has the player full suit of armor on? This is a custom method that I've written right here which is just going to get basically the entire armor that the player has on. And we're just going to ask, hey, is all of that empty? The player actually does have a full suit of armor on, then we're going to say true. And then we're going to actually evaluate the armor effects, meaning that, hey, does the actual armor that this player has on, right, even have, you know, a particular effect? So has correct armor on, checks right here, whether or not the material is actually even correct. So we're going to go through the entire map right here. In this case, we only have one in here. However, we co you could imagine that you have multiple materials and they have different effects. So we're basically going to check, hey, is this material that the player is wearing even the right material? And if that's the case, then we can move on and add the status effect for that particular material. And we're just going to say, hey, if the player already has the effect, then we just don't need to do anything. So if this is false, then we go in. If this is true, then we don't go in. And then also, of course, we check once again if the correct armor is on. This is not strictly necessary because we've already checked this, but it doesn't really matter, you know, one way or the other, to be honest. And I've also have something that is commented out here, which is a 40% chance of damaging the armor basically every time this effect is applied. And then sometimes the effects are, well, a little bit of an issue in the sense that when you put it to this 200 in this case, right, then it's going to be applied for 10 seconds. And starting at 10 seconds, the effect starts to wear off. So there might be a case on saying, you know, maybe you want to put this to 400 or something, you know, different, and then maybe even check when the armor is unequipped. To be honest, that's something that, of course, you can still add on your own as well. This is all pretty much custom code that I wrote. And so it actually is uh, totally fine to use this. Any modifications, of course, you are absolutely free to do. Uh, if you want to use this and modify this a little bit for your own mod, that's totally fine, of course. There, once again, and I cannot stress this enough, just a little bit of Java knowledge, or maybe even like intermediate to advanced Java knowledge there, really, really does help there in basically, well, helping you to possibly modify this. But how do we use the mod armor item now? Well, the thing is that inside of our mod items class, we've used the armor item previously. And then for just one of our basically items, we want to change this to the mod armor item. Not all of them, only one. Now, what's important is that usually I like to take the helmet because that just seems like the most sensible option to me. You could, of course, also change it to the boots or the chest plate. That doesn't matter. I personally prefer the helmet, but you only need to change one of them to the mod armor item right here. And then after that has been done, let's see if it works. 
or Robbie Francis in Minecraft and as you can see the luck is already being applied to the player because of course I have the entire armor on so let's just take off let's say for example the chest plate and as soon as the luck runs out here it should not be applied again even though I have the titanium helmet on you know and it's in the inventory I don't have a full suit of armor on therefore it's not being applied and as soon as I put the chest plate back on you can see that the luck has been applied once more so that's actually how easy it can be to apply this effect when you have a full suit of armor on your player Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.